Hey guys, welcome back to another camera review. So today I'm going to be reviewing my Olympus XA, which is the original XA. So I believe this is the first model of um, a few, so there's four models. There's the Olympus XA, the XA1, um, the XA2, 3 and 4. So progressively they obviously got better over time and, and ended up with autofocusing and, and all the nifty features. Um, this XA in particular, the first model is got a clamshell, so it opens and it protects the lens. Um, it's a range finder, so as you can see here, it goes from 85 centimeters to infinity. Um, it's aperture priority, aperture priority completely, so you pick the aperture and it picks the shutter speed for you. And on the front of the camera here, you can see this, this is how you focus. And you can pick the ISO there, just above that focus ring. So the ISO goes from uh, ISO 25 to ISO 800. So obviously from the size of the camera, you can see here compared to an iPhone, this is an excellent camera for traveling. Um, and that's mainly what I use it for. So in, for that reason, I haven't really shot it at all in the last year because I haven't really traveled because of COVID. So I've probably only put two rolls through it in the last year, which is a shame. The great thing as well with this camera is it comes with the modular flash unit that comes on and off. So you can just keep that in your, in your backpack as well or your pocket. So some of the things I love about this camera is its size. It's obviously really small. Um, the modular flash unit, like I've mentioned, so it comes on and off. It's a great little flash unit. Um, it's really easy camera to use. It only has uh, these sort of cell timer controls here on the bottom, um, the aperture settings on the front, and the shutter. That's pretty much all you can change. Um, you manually wind the film on on the, on the reel on the back, which is easy enough. Um, some things I don't like about it, this shutter is so sensitive. Everyone always complains when they have an XA about it. Like you literally just tap it and it takes a photo. So I often waste frames on it. Also the focus, I always get subjects out of focus for some reason. Um, all my other range finders I'm fine with, but this one, I'm always out of focus when I take a shot. For some reason, I don't know. If it's, if it's a portrait, it's always out of focus. If it's landscape, it's fine. <laughs> so maybe I need to adjust the range finder. The other thing is the light meter on it, being that it's a camera from the 80s, um, just isn't that great, to be honest. I'm so used to my Nikon F5, where it just meters perfectly. Um, I often get shots in this that are overexposed or underexposed, depending on the light. Um, the other thing I dislike about it is, um, it does, on a roll of 36, it takes about 40 photos. So I find when I do have a roll in it, it takes me forever to shoot it. I know that's a pretty stupid complaint, but when you're traveling, that's great because um, you can take as many photos as you like pretty much. But if you're just going out for a little day trip and you want to shoot, I don't know, black and white film, if you only take 10 shots, then you've got to sort of get rid of the rest over the next few weeks before you can put another roll through it. Um, and I often sort of shoot black and white in this. So if I do end up taking it to the beach or something, I end up, all my photos end up being black and white. So that's all I've got. So because I've had it for a few years, I do have a lot of photos to show you guys. So I'll um, run through those now. This photo really shows how sharp this lens can be. This is a nice contrasty photo on some Acros 100, on some of the old Acros 100, which is no longer available, sadly. And here's some HB5. Now this is the most common film I put through this camera, just because I bulk raw HB5. Now this shot and the first shot are really well exposed. You can see this photo of the kids fishing. I got this one out of focus somehow. I um, focused for infinity and they were blurry. Might be too, uh, too high of an aperture and the shutter speed was too slow. Here's some color film. And when, it, when it, this camera exposes properly, it um, does a really good job as you can see from these shots. I really like this VX100. This film was expired and I think I was shooting it at 50 ISO. It has a nice dreamy look to it. This camera does handle low light situations quite well. 
I think it's because it often overexposes. So let me know what you guys think of the photos in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and I'd love to hear what you guys think of the Olympus XA. And if you guys own one, let me know um, if you have the same issues I do with the focusing and that sensitive shutter. And if you're in the market for one, I'd recommend getting one. Um, also look into the newer models, like I've said, like I think the XA4 is really good. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.